Hi everyone, this is the Math 30-1 Trig 2 review. This is uh, question 13. I'm going to do 13a here. It says provide a sine function and a cosine function with a minimum phase shift for the following graph. Well, here's our graph. Okay, now in our, our first question here, we're going to set this thing up here. We're going to find the two functions such that the a value is positive. Okay, so there hasn't been a, a vertical reflection here. Now, before we, we talk specifically about sine and cosine, kind of the difference between them, let's focus on what's the same about them. Okay, and what, what that encompasses here is it's going to be, in terms of our, our function, the way we've been normally writing it, that's going to be the a, the b, and the d values. Now, to get, to get some of these things, we've got to look at this graph here. What's the maximum value that this graph gets to? Well, let's just count it out here. One, two, three. So the maximum value, I'll just write it over here, the maximum value is going to be 3. Well, what's the minimum value that this graph gets to? And I think that's pretty easy to see. It's going to be negative 1. So we'll come over here and we'll say that the min is negative 1. Now, once I've done that, I've actually got half of the information that I need because A, or the amplitude here, is going to be the max uh, minus the min over 2. So this is going to be 3 minus negative 1 over 2. Well, 3 minus negative 1 is 4 over 2 is 2. Okay? D, on the other hand, D value is going to be max plus min over 2. It's kind of, it's more like an average between the two here. And this is the middle. Okay, this will be the, the vertical middle of the graph here. And so, in this case here, that's going to be 3 plus negative 1 over 2. 3 plus negative 1 is, is 2 divided by 2 is 1. Okay, so now I know I know A and I know D. Now, to get B, what I gotta do here is I gotta figure out what the what the the period is from this function here. Now, my period, if if now and, and I'm kind of lazy about these sorts of things. I, I look for the easiest way out. Notice that I hit a peak at the very at the very top here on the y-axis here a period is going to extend down to the next peak. So now that's one, two, three, four blocks. Now what I gotta do is gotta figure, well, how, how big are these blocks, okay? Well, okay, look, here's pi right here. How many blocks does it take to get up to pi? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, well, that gives me some information. So each block here is equal to pi over six. Now that means that my period is 4 pi over 6's, and I can do a little bit better than that. I can reduce that and make that 2 pi over 3. Okay, each block is pi over 6, and I counted out my period was 1, 2, 3, 4 of those blocks. So 4 pi over 6's, and that reduces them to pi over 3. My B value is going to be 2 pi divided by the period, which was 2 pi over 3. Well, the 2 pi's will cancel, and I'm left with a, a 1 over 3 in the denominator, and when I divide by that fraction, now you have to multiply by the reciprocal, I'm simply going to get 3. So my B value is 3. So this is fantastic. So right away I know A, B, and D. Now to help me with the rest of this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line through here at the D value of 1. Okay, so I'm going to just darken this line right here. That's just going to help me determine okay, uh, where my starting points should be here. Now let's talk about sign to start off with. I know that a sine graph should look like this. If I, if I put a sine graph in a box, a sine graph should go like this. It should start at the middle, go up, down, go down to its minimum, and then back up to the middle here. And if I look right around the, the origin here, near the origin, especially near the, the y-axis here, I've got two points here okay, that are the middle, in the middle here. But only this one would be the start of a positive sign. So this right here is what I want. And notice that that is one block to the left, okay, of the y-axis. And I know that each block is pi over 6. So here's my function, okay. y equals 2 sine of, my b value was 3. I know that if I've got a positive sign here, this must have moved to the left. Okay, remember that's a positive sign there. To the left, pi over 6, close bracket, close bracket, 
and it's been moved up one. Okay, good. A cosine function, okay, a positive cosine function starts at the peak. Well, what's beautiful about that is the closest peak to the y-axis is right on the y-axis. And that would communicate to me that there has been no horizontal phase shift to get the cosine function. So then we come back over here. The amplitude is the same. The, horiz sorry, the, the horizontal stretch here, the B value, is the same. But there's been no horizontal. I'm sorry, I, I put sine there. I meant cosine. Sorry, we are talking about cosine right now. There's been no horizontal phase shift, and it's still been moved up one. So those are the two functions that we're looking for uh, when we are allowing A or requiring that A is positive.